Today, I'm giving you all my week six predictions. We started with Thursday night football, the Denver Broncos at the Kansas City Chiefs. A little history for you guys. The Broncos haven't beaten the Chiefs since 2015. I don't see anything changing here. I'm going with the Chiefs here, obviously. We have our third London game in a row, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Tennessee Titans. I could kind of see this game being closed. The Titans play good against the run defense, so Lamar Jackson is going to have to pass the ball a lot. I think he will, and on top of that, I don't think Ryan Tannehill will be able to consistently move the ball down the field. I'm leaning the Baltimore Ravens, bouncing back and getting a big win. I was high on the Washington Commanders, but I'm not really now, especially when they just lost to like a bottom three team that hasn't won a game in almost a whole calendar year. And then the Falcons just won a pretty good game versus the Texans. I do think this one could go either way, so I'm going to go ahead and ride the hot hand here. I'm going to go with the Atlanta Falcons. Visual matchup, Vikings versus the Bears. Vikings are going to be without Justin Jefferson a month. RIP my fantasy team because we're missing him, Anthony Richardson, and A-Chain. We're not looking good. Even without Justin Jefferson, I think they can move it the ball down the field pretty well against the Bears. So go ahead and give me the Vikings here. If we have the Seahawks at the Bengals, obviously the Bengals look like they are back. Kind of want to hold off on actually saying if they're back or not though. But I think the main problem with the Bengals offense was because of Joe Burrow's injury. And if that is right, then he looked a lot better and they might could be back. And yeah, the Seahawks are probably a really good team as well. Kind of risky move, but I'm going with the Bengals. Next, the 49ers at the Cleveland Brown. I don't think Deshaun Watson practice today, which is when day when I'm recording this. I don't know if he's going to play in this game or not, but either way, I, I mean, it's against the 49ers, so I'm going with the Niners, obviously. The Carolina Panthers at the Miami Dolphins. I honestly don't even want to watch this. I know we're going to lose, but I just hope we don't get embarrassed and allow like 70 points. As long as we lose by 21 points or less, I'm fine with it, but I'm rolling with the Dolphins, obviously. Both at Jaguars is going to be a very interesting game because these two teams played in week one. I'm not going to lie, the Colts like were in that game for the most part. Colts don't have Anthony Richardson, but Gardner Minshew has actually been taking his spot pretty well when he's had to play. I think the Colts could pull off a surprise win, especially in the divisional matchup. I'm going to ride with the Jaguars. I mean, they did just have a big week versus the Bills. Thanks at Texans, a lot of these matchups could go either way, including this one. If the Texans didn't lose last week, I would 100 percent go with the Texans here. But they lost to the Falcons, and I think the Saints are probably a better team than the Falcons overall. I'm going to go with the Texans here, but I definitely could see the Saints winning it as well. Patriots at Raiders, uh, two teams that are just kind of mid. This will probably be like a 14-10 to 10 final score. The Patriots just have looked god-awful, especially their offense. They're probably moving on from Matt Jones, maybe even Bill Belichick. But that's what the fans want. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Raiders. Obviously, the Cardinals have been looking really good, especially compared to what everybody thought they were going to be this season. I think the Rams are probably up there in like my top 10 or right outside of my top 10 team. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Rams here. Eagles at Jets, give me the Eagles. I mean, Zach Wilson's one playing all right, but you're going to need to play more than all right to beat the Eagles. Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers offense has actually very well surprised me this season. Like I was expecting them not to even win three or four games. They've proved me wrong and proved a lot of people wrong as well. But I mean, it's the Lions. They've been looking like a top 10, maybe even a top five team if you want to push it. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Lions. Bills have been looking like one of the most inconsistent teams. A couple weeks ago, they beat the Miami Dolphins. We were talking about them possibly being a Super Bowl team. And then they just lost to the Jaguars, which the Jaguars aren't a bad team, but a Super Bowl team shouldn't be losing to them. Either way, I mean, it's versus the Giants, so give it to the Bills. Oh God, that's Sunday night. How did they put the Giants in Sunday night football against Cowboys, Seahawks, and Bills? The schedule makers did them dirty, bro. And then on Monday night football, we have the Dallas Cowboys versus the Chargers. I could kind of see this going either way, but I think the Dallas Cowboys just have a more overall complete team. I'm going to go ahead with the Cowboys here, but I could definitely see. And that's my week six picks, everybody. Let me know your picks in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.